Hi and welcome to MedSum's channel. In this video, I will introduce you to AutoCAD software. This video tutorial is for beginners or new to AutoCAD. Let's go! So, in this part, we will learn about the interface, basic commands, and make some basic drawings. After you launch AutoCAD, this is how your interface going to look like. If you are using the lower version, the interface perhaps there's a, sli there's a slight difference from the newest version. And also, the newest one have more features. But all the basic end commands are mostly the same. So for this one, I am using AutoCAD 2021 in Windows OS. If you are using a Mac OS, the interface is totally different from this one. To start a new project, I mean drawing, to start a new drawing, all you need to do is just click the start drawing over here. Here we are. So there are different parts in this interface. This area is called workspace or drawing area. At the, top at the top left is the application button. These are the tools that we can use to save our drawing, print, or start a new one. This part is the quick access toolbar and have the same functions like the tools in the application button. We have here the ribbon area. We have home, annotate, insert, parametric, and the others. So in this tab, like for example in this home tab, we have the panels for draw, modify, annotation, and so on. And in the panels, we have tools and icons like this icon for line, circles, move, copy, and many others. Down here, we have the precision toolbars. This precision tool toolbar help us in making precise drawings. We will talk about it as we go on. At the heart of the AutoCAD is the command window, which is normally dock at the bottom of the application window. The command window displays prompts, options, and messages. You can enter commands directly in the command window instead of using the ribbon. Like for example, in line, we can use the toolbar line we can click this icon and now we can create a line. The other method is by typing in the command window. We can type directly line or you can just type L and press enter or the space bar and we can create a line. And also take note, you can type command directly anywhere in the drawing area. You don't need to move your cursor and click the command window to type your command. You can type directly anywhere in the drawing area. For now, there are many commands that are not common to us yet. So if you move your cursor to the tool or icon and let it rest for a few seconds, it appears there a small box with a brief explanation of this tool. In this case, it's the multi-line text. And the word below is the command name. So the command for multi-line text is mText. You can activate it by typing mText in the drawing area or in the command window. Now let's talk about the mouse. This cross is the mouse indicator or cursor in our drawing area. And it has to look like this when we don't have any command active. If you click in any of the tools, notice that our cursor look like a two intersecting lines or a cross. This cursor is called point selection cursor. And right next to the cursor, you will see some kind of tool tip. This is called dynamic input tool. You can turn on or turn off the input tool by pressing the F12. So if you don't have the input tool right now, you can turn it on by pressing F12. For navigation, 
You can zoom in your drawing area by just scrolling down your mouse wheel. And to zoom out, just scroll up your mouse wheel. And if you want to move your workspace or drawing area, press and hold the mouse wheel. And if you notice the cursor change into a hand, now we can move the drawing area. Some software call it as pan. The left button is for selection. Let's say you want to select this object. Just point your cursor to the object and click the left button of your mouse. And if you click the right button of your mouse, this will open a panel and it gives us uh, several options that we can use. Now, we will start to draw in AutoCAD. You can create many different types of geometric objects in AutoCAD. We have here the line, polyline, circle, and arc. You can create also an ellipse and a rectangle. First, we will talk about line. This is the most basic tool, and this is the tool that you will use most of the time. To draw a line, click the icon line in Draw Panel. The other method, instead of clicking the icon line, we can just type L or line and press Enter. And as you can see, the cursor changed into a, into a two intersecting line. It means that there is an active command. Notice also the prompts in the command window. You can see the command line is active and asking for the first point of your line. To specify the starting point of your line, you can click anywhere in the drawing area. If you want to start your line at this point, just press the left button of your mouse. You can click again for the next point of your line. And also the next point and the next point. To end the se sequence, just press enter or spacebar. So we have drawn a line. But this line has no specific dimensions and directions. If you press enter again, it will activate the previous command that we use. This is a very useful for uh, repeated commands. Let's say we will draw a 1000 unit horizontal line. Never mind the unit for now, we will discuss it, we will discuss it as we go on. We will start at this point. As you can see, there is a green line in the horizontal direction. And also notice the word polar in the tooltip right next to the cursor. This means that the polar is on. Now, we can draw our line along this green line and type the dimensions of our line which is 1000. The polar mode is located at the precision toolbar right here. So I recommend to turn on the polar tracking because if you turn off the polar, it will be hard for us to draw a line along the horizontal direction or vertical direction unless if we specify the angle. Now, we will draw a line with an angle. Let's say we want to draw a 100 unit line with an angle of 35 degrees from the x-axis. To do this, click the command line, specify the first point of your line. Let's say we want to start at this point. Type the length of your line, which is 100. Do not press enter yet. After typing the dimension 100, we will press the tab. Now, we can specify the angle we need, which is 35 degrees. This time, we can now press enter. So the length of this line is 100, and the angle between the x-axis and this line is 35. And please note, that the positive angle, it means counterclockwise from the x-axis. And the negative angle, it means clockwise from the x-axis.
So the next basic geometric object that commonly used is the circle. The default option of the circle command requires you to specify a center point and a radius. But there are other circle options are available from the drop down. Just click the arrow button right here. You can choose center radius, center diameter, two points, three points, or point of tangency. Alternatively, you can also type circle or just C in the command window and choose an option in the command window. Let's say we want to draw a circle with a 100 diameter. First, we will specify the center point of our circle. Let's say right here. Now, we will type the 100 diameter of our circle which is 100 and press enter. Now, we have drawn a 100 unit diameter circle. So this one is the polyline. A polyline is a connected sequence of line segments that is created as a single object. So to draw a polyline, just click the icon polyline. Or you can just type PLINE in the command window. This polyline has the same process as line command. We can draw lines as much as we need. And when we are done, just press enter or spacebar. You can also type CL to connect the endpoint and starting point of your line. CL, it means close. When you click in any of the line, notice that you have selected also all the connected lines. Because they are considered as a single object. That is the main characteristic of this command polyline. If you want to draw a rectangle, we can use polyline. But there is also a drawing tool for rectangle at the draw panel, right here. Alternatively, you can type rec in the command window and press enter. If you click the drop down right next to the rectangle icon, you can see several options to draw a rectangle. We will select the first option. So first, we will specify the first point of our rectangle. And now, we will input the dimensions of our rectangle. Let's say we want to draw a 700 by 500. First, we will input the 700 and now press tab. Then type the 500. So we have drawn a rectangle with a 700 length and a 500 width. For the arc, you can type the command A and press enter. Or you can just click the arc icon over here. There are also several options to draw an arc. We will try this one. We will click the first point second point, and now the last point. For starters, it will be difficult to draw an arc, but with constant practice, you will get used to it. Now you have learned the basic of AutoCAD and the basic drawing tools. Try to discover and practice the other options of, the, of basic drawing tools. For our next video, we will discuss about the modifying tools. Don't forget to subscribe to watch the list of this tutorial. And also, hit the notification bell for updates. Bye now!